Morris Park is 125 acres of basically every amenity that I would imagine the public would hope that a park would have. You have um, at least a couple miles of multi-use paths that people use for walking, jogging, walking their dogs. Uh, you have picnic ramadas that can be used for family gatherings, business gatherings, corporate gatherings, what, what have you. Uh, you've got sand volleyball, baseball, softball. You've got a rec center with a lap pool and a kid swim pool. So um, we're able to host a variety of user groups here pretty much seven days a week. It is somewhat hidden, so it is kind of a nice um, little getaway from, you know, traffic and and just, just I guess, all around noise, airplanes, trains that you might find elsewhere. We do have a concessionaire that, uh, just on the north side of the lake that does rent paddle boats and also um, little bicycles that you can ride around. The, the lake is, we do stock it with fish, with uh, game and fish, so yeah, you can, you can uh, definitely fish, you can just feed the ducks. It's a beautiful park. I mean, the trees are trimmed, the grass looks great. Um, you know, all the amenities are very clean. So I think um, our, pe our park's maintenance crew takes a great deal of pride in, in delivering this park to the community every single day. So I think that has a huge aspect, is just the aesthetics of it. The Movies in the Park is a series that's probably a little over 30 years old. It is um, one of our favorite events to produce. It's produced by the city of Tempe. And basically it's a free event um, that shows pretty much uh, recent movies geared towards families, towards kids. Um, and they can just pretty much come, set up on the, uh, on the grass, a little picnic blanket, and watch a free movie. It's a great uh, affordable um, outing for the family and we get probably more compliments on this event than we do any other and it's so it's really nice to see the return of the, of the effort that we put into putting on the event and getting the uh, exchange back to us through the community so it's, it's a really rewarding event. I love it we come every year it's been about three years now that we've been coming. I think it's awesome I think it's a great way to get outside and enjoy the great weather and it's free. Here at the Recreation Center, people come to recreate themselves, recreate their relationships and their family, the, the relationships they have with their daughters or sons and their wives. It gives them an opportunity to escape some of the pressures, the daily pressures that we all feel in our lives today. So it gives them an opportunity, whether it's playing drop-in volleyball or swimming laps or hitting some tennis balls in a learn-to-play tennis program or pushing a few weights or on a treadmill in our fitness center or taking a Pilates or a yoga class. It allows them to engage themselves in a certain part of their life that they forget about, that they forget that may not have a factor in, in how they function in today's world. It's work, 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 and if we don't take time to play, to recreate, to discover who we are, we lose ourselves in this very busy world. It's my belief that people should get involved and engaged in parks, period, whether it be here in Tempe or in Phoenix or Chandler. But here is a special place in most people's hearts because the park is master planned. It has beautiful, green, lush, bermy type hills where people can engage themselves in, whether it be walking or hiking or playing, be it a passive or active activity. Uh, I think every, every city should have some sort of focal park where um, you know, everyone can go, and I think in Tempe, we're actually lucky enough to have two, one being Tempe Beach and Florence Kennedy and the other.